both of these games. Everybody at one and one win and get in. It's just one of those times where they can say that lives aren't on the line. Now it really is. No, oh, it definitely is. Um, there's a chance if they lose, they have the tiebreaker over the other person that, that loses the other game. But you don't want to rely on that. You want to go out, win the game, and get get done with it. No stress, get to the playoffs, and hopefully get a bye. Again, just like there's a tiebreaker for the losers, there's a tiebreaker for the winners. And if you have that tiebreaker, you get a bye in the playoffs. It's almost for uh, you guys out there, fans of boxing or UFC, you never want to leave it in the hands of the judges. You don't want to leave it in the hands of the tiebreakers here at the Madden Challenge. Right. Yeah, you most definitely, definitely do not want to leave it Recline up to the tiebreakers. Kane's coming off that emotionally draining loss you had to think a game you had a 14 point lead you lose on a last second field goal which by the way got in field goal position off of a deep pass to Eckler with 19 seconds left is and it no tough to recover outs. off of that like yeah. you know coming off that loss yeah no timeouts too uh, he, he was able to get out of bounds on that as well so you know if, if he just tackles him in bounds on, on that play uh, at least makes JS have to think a little quicker. Maybe he makes a mistake and whatnot, but able to get out of bounds on that huge pass and really settle in to end the game. Uh, it, it was big for JS, and he was able to kick through the ice. As we see, Keynes use his first timeout of the first half. Again, take note of that. We'll see if it comes back to bite him in, in this first half. Win and get in. It may not be single elimination. We may be in group play, but there's just as much pressure as you don't want to leave it to how the other game goes to see if you're going to move on here in the Madden Challenge. Again, three will come out of this group. Last place is eliminated. The three move on to fight for some of that prize money, fight for that belt. Yep, and we'll see Spoto offensively. If the run isn't working, will he be able to generate enough offense in this game versus Canes to win the game? Because when it worked against Boogs, he scored seven. When the run wasn't there, he didn't score any more points throughout that game. So will the run, will he establish himself on the ground? Here's a deep attack down the field. Playmaker, nothing open, throws it away. I don't know if you saw in the middle of that uh, that blocking it had a shed, a cut block, and a trip from the uh, defensive tackle. Could have been disastrous. Instead, it's going to set up a third and ten. Spoda looking to call on that experience from his first win where Max pointed JS the best. He came out in Boogs, a dominant performance in game two to put Spoto at one and one. Third and ten, dropping back. Great defense from Keynes, nothing open. Keynes makes a mistake there, clicks on and dives, but fortunately for him, Dak Prescott still has to throw it away, forcing a fourth and ten early in this ball game. And if there's one been one constant throughout this entire group, it's been Keynes' defense has been strong. Yeah, he's he's playing good right here to start. Spoto unable to establish the, the, the run game early, and and he hasn't been able to pass the ball well as we've seen against Boogs. Uh, we'll see if he can come up with a, a huge play here, though. Fourth and ten for Spoto. Big play early on in this game. Needs a conversion. He's got all the time in the world. He just doesn't have the receiver he wants. Finally finds Foster over the middle. The offensive line holding up. Foster breaking tackles left and right, converting the fourth down, picking up 25. Canes with coverage. Relied on you know a couple block sheds, did not get any pressure on the quarterback. Dak able to sit there, deliver a strike down the field for a first down. Spoto back comfortable trying to establish the run game, picks up three on first. Spoto, of course, the youngest player here in the Madden Challenge from Staten Island, New York. Madden 19 Colts club winner. They've seen him in the club championships at the end of January. Back here at the challenge, trying to establish that run game. It just seems like since the after the first quarter of his second game against Boogs, that run game hasn't gotten going. Yeah, it hasn't. And he doesn't have, you know, one. Of, he didn't draft one of the best running backs in this mode. in Lindsey, you know, you know, he is good, but. For his style of offense, you would look for someone like Gurley, Fournette, 
you know, those type of bats, and he just doesn't have that, and, and he's not getting any open runs here, any lanes to run through, and, and it's forcing him into some spots that he doesn't want to be in and having to pass the ball third and five. For another conversion, looks for the corner route, looking for the low pass to Vernon Davis, can't come up with it, and now the pressure is on Spoto once again, another fourth down opportunity. Yeah, tough, stressful spots early on in this game for Spoto. Will he be able to survive these stressful spots is the question. Early on, Canes playing great defense. Fourth and five, though, Canes looking to get off the field. We'll see what Spoto dials up. Fourth down and a five. Very manageable down and distance. Does he have the play call to pick it up? Waiting, looking. He's going to look for it all down the middle of the field. Looking for Parker and a great one-on-one -on -one defensive play by Adoree Jackson. He's one of the best here in the mud draft, and he proved it right there. Huge play from Adoree. Able to run with anyone. He manned him up, broke the pass up, forced a turnover on downs, and Canes has the momentum early. First and 10 from his own 49-yard line. Will he be able to capitalize and get any points on this drive? Now Canes, his first chance on offense. He's going to guys... take a delay of game here. They have a gentleman's agreement to decline that. They're setting audibles. Something you've seen competitive man. Literally read my mind. I was literally just about to say that. Mm -hmm. That's why problems the goat. He's got it. Fun fact. <laughs> Only two guys have made all three of the Madden 19 uh, majors. One of them, Drini, in this tournament. He'll be playing tomorrow. The Detroit, other one, guy on offense right now. Canes has made all three. Looking to come away with a belt, though. Gun, That's all gun. that matters. Doesn't matter gun, how gun. many you make. It matters how gun, many you gun. win. Gun, gun. First and ten. That is Otto Graham. Your, don't adjust your TV sets. Otto Graham at quarterback, dropping back to pass. On first and ten, he's got all the time in the world. Rolls out left side. Ooh. He's going to end up taking a sack on first down. Reminder, folks, keep it locked on the Madden League Ops Twitter. That's at Madden League Ops. You get live tournament coverage, content, news updates, and more. Big play first on first down. You know, Canes try to roll out, throw it away. Unable to do that. Sacked on the play. Forces a second and 20. Wheel route to, to Derrick Henry picks up the yards that he lost on first. What do you think Otto Graham would think about Twitter, Madden? <laughs> we're, we're all we're all gathered here in Redwood City playing a video game. I don't think Otto Graham even would have thought that this was possible. Yeah, that goes back to everything I, I love about the Muck game and being able to mix Detroit, the legends Detroit. with the players of today. Right, it's, it's, it's a cool aspect. Being a, someone I never got to see Otto Graham play, but I get to play with him at quarterback in Mutt draft and in Mutt. Oh, TJ Carey almost came up with the pick there. It is incomplete. Both players looking shaky on offense. Shaky on offense for Spoto, followed by Canes looking shaky on offense. Gonna go for this fourth and 11. Has Seals Jones at a tight end here. Thomas Find Cook in the 56. slot. Got to think. A little shake in offense. Detroit, There's a lot of Detroit. pressure. Needing a win to Find guarantee a spot in the next round. Graham dropping back on fourth and 11. Waiting. An open. Waiting. Oh, good defense downfield. Now Graham's going to take off. He's got a guy coming back. Looking for him over the middle of the field. That's Dalvin Cook makes the catch at the 30-yard line. The play lasted 11 seconds, but it still ends up in a first down. What a way to extend the play. Again, this is just top-tier Madden. Not, not your casual player right there in Canes. Able to extend the play, keep his eyes down the field, and hits, hit a receiver coming back to the line of scrimmage. Great defense downfield. You could see Canes was looking for that crossing route to the right side. Spoto knew it right away and manned it up. Yep, Spoto played great defense, and you know uh, Canes, no, no, second no, no, and eleven Jack, here. Patriot, Patriot. Just uh, he, he's happy with points here. If you're in this spot, and I've been in this spot as well, go, you're go, happy with points after go, getting go. the stop. You're cool with three. Would go, love go. seven to really put your foot down. We'll see if Autogram could dial up something on offense. Look at underneath, he's got Kiki Kute with the catch, the Houston Texan. 
gets to the 19 yard line. Haven't called his name at all today. It's a fun name to say though. Yep, definitely a fun name to say. Um, he generates the first red zone opportunity in this important game three of group B. Kane's in the red zone now. And you know the red zone is Henry time. Look for Henry to try to help Kane's and punch this through to the end zone. Stepping up is Graham. Waiting, looking. He'll just fall down. Doesn't want to take that hit. I'll be honest, all I want, we've seen a lot of guys play out of position. All I want is Kiki at quarterback Detroit! to throw to Westbrook so we have the Kiki DD connection. That's all <laughs> I want in life. Somebody make that happen. Second. Canes has to be the one to make that happen. Yeah, come on, Canes. Like, you think you'd listen to me and let him do that? Yeah, I don't know Kane's what his. more important things on his hands. What do you think Kiki's <laughs> throw power is? Throw to Henry. Derrick Henry was a monster in that first game. He's been a monster this entire group. He's been the MVP, and he picks up seven on second down. And again, Canes taking note here of his players. They're, they're tired. The game clock is ahead of the play clock, so he can choose to take this to the second quarter. But when you go from quarter to quarter, your players get their fatigue back. We'll see if he decides to snap it or take it into the second. A lot of motion and movement flipping the play. Third down and three. Kane's is going to sit back in that chair. Put your twos in the chat. I don't think anybody <laughs> is supposed to do that. Four second quarter. Scoreless ball game. Nobody really has an edge right now. Um, I, w I would probably lean towards Kane just because he has a stop already and, he, and he's already in field goal range. I would give him the edge personally. Uh, if he gets seven, he's in a really good spot. On the other hand, Spoto hoping to hold the three here. If he if he doesn't allow a first down right here, Kane's would settle for three. He wouldn't he wouldn't be that aggressive, I don't believe, in this first round. Hand off to Henry, fighting through tackles, falls forward close to the first down marker, but they're gonna call him short. A big fourth and one. Derrick Henry trying to pick up that first down, but a great stop. And, by the photo defense and he's going to go for it he's going to be aggressive here um, i'm not too sure i like the call seeing how he played defense so well on his first drive you know getting that lead you know in in this type of game where you know it's winning get in could be big for canes he is going to go for it and spoto pretty much begging him to run qb sneak i would run sneak here fall forward for the first down with graham not sure what the the, strat the strategy is on the QB sneak um, with these competitors so far. They know a lot more than I do because they, they're here, I, I, I would assume. But not pinching your D-line, I, I just have to question it because it hasn't worked out for any of them that have chose to do that first and goal. Yeah, you're seeing a lot of guys try to use their, that middle linebacker, that safety, to try to shoot the gap. But we saw Kane struggled with the quarterback sneak with a pinched line in our first game. He kept running into that offensive lineman right there. Too easy, but the run defense against Derrick Henry has been solid so far. Two carries, four yards. Yep, second and goal here for Kane from the seven. Clock moving. We're under four minutes in the half. Kane's looking to punch Detroit, it in and take Detroit. this touchdown advantage. Go on, go on. Go on, Once again, trips over to the right side. Stephon Diggs in motion. A little draw play for Derrick Henry. And once again, this defensive line for Spoto. It's winning the battle up front, getting some early penetration and setting up a third and goal from the five. Yep, yeah, third and goal from the five. I don't suspect it's going to be a pass. I mean, a run play here for Canes. Probably going to pass, especially seeing him come out in bunch. If you're Spoto, you don't need to blitz here. You can sit in coverage, send three, maybe four, play good coverage, make him pass into coverage, and, and hopefully you uh, make a play. Kane sees all pass coverage, audibles to a run, tries to sneak in for a touchdown with uh, Henry. Uh, not not too risky there for, from, from Kane's. I, I feel like he could have took a chance with the pass, but he saw Spoto's pass coverage being so relaxed back there in Dollar decided to run, settle for three. And you saw Spoto there, took a timeout, three nothing, Kane's on top. Stopping the clock after the run play. He really wants to use this full 312 for his offense. Yeah, he doesn't want to have to be in a rush. You know, saving 30 seconds right there could be uh, good for this drive. We'll see if, if that timeout matters or not at the end of the day. 
That's all that matters. You can use them when you want, but if, if, if they end up costing you, then we're going to look back and say that was a bad timeout. If they end up helping you, then we'll call it a good timeout. Now, Philip Lindsay takes a big hit at the 34 yard line, but is able to pick up nine. Finally getting that run game working, 3 0 2 and counting. Yep, sets up a second and manageable. This is how Spoto wants to play the game. He wants to get uh, early yards with the run, set up downs where he can either run or pass, and, and really try to make it as easy as possible on the offensive side of the ball. Picks up the first there with Lindsay. Big first down there. Down 3 nothing. got stopped on his first drive, but Spoto, both these guys, everybody in Group B, a win, and you are into the next round, a loss, and it's all going to come down to the head-to-head -head tiebreaker. First and ten. So the right side. Vernon hangs on to that one. You're seeing Spoto utilize that low pass a lot. It's it's something that maybe has gone away a little bit in Madden 19. It's coming back here at the end of the season. Yeah, a lot of low passes on, you know, corner routes, dig routes. A lot of these guys utilize that feature. And it's a good it's it's a good strategy. The low pass is really good in certain on certain routes. And you see it right there, able to complete the pass to Vernon Davis. I think he's gonna take this all the way down. Two minute warning upcoming, looks right side. Vernon Davis once again. And at the two minute warning, it is three nothing. Kane's on top, but right now, Spoto methodically working his way down the field. Yep, working his way down the field, trying to just get himself into field goal range. Make this the last drive of the half and at least go into the half tied at 3 3. Looking to pass on second and five, left side. Who else but Vernon? And, and Vernon and puts it on the ground, and oh. it's picked up. A lot of space up ahead, stumbling and bumbling to the 40-yard line. Darquez Denard with the recovery. And in these three games, we have seen two fumbles from Vernon Davis. It's just really bad. You know, you draft this player, Vernon Davis. You're hoping he's going to be a mismatch for linebackers. He's getting open, catching the ball, and just dropping it, you know, uh, putting it on the ground and turning it over it's just so costly in this at this level of Madden. Vernon, put your two hands on the ball. Make sure you don't fumble it. And another key turnover in Canes. Looking to capitalize. Deep down the field, looking for Diggs. Go for the aggressive catch just out of the reach. As it looked like right there, Spoto brought the heat. Yeah, he did. He mixed it up, brought a blitz, got the ball out of there quick. Canes made a good read. Ball was overthrown, incomplete, right, second and 10. Back in trips tight end. Derrick Henry on Otto Graham's right hip. Detroit, Detroit. Dalvin Cook in the slot. Hit 42 to go in the first half. Canes with the lead. And the ball. And a sack <laughs> as Otto can escape. And down goes Graham. That was DeMonte Kazee running around the left side. Yeah, third and 18. If your Canes clock this all the way down here, you want to take that game clock as low as possible. So if you if you don't get this up, if you don't get this first down, you don't give Spoto a ton of time to go down. He snaps it with 14. Otto Graham moving up in the pocket and sacked on the play. And he goes down as that was Rochelle with the sack and fourth and 19. You got to think wow. a punt is coming. The defense for Spoto. Seven up huge after the Vernon Davis fumble. Yep. He's going to have to punt here. And remember, 13 seconds extra he could have ran off. We'll see if that 13 seconds matters at the end of this half. Here's the punt. Kane's trying to pin him deep with a coffin corner. Unable to do it. Touchback. And that right there, special teams mistake. It ends up only being a net 29-yard punt. And for a guy with no timeouts, getting pinned back would have been huge for Spoda. Would have been big. Would have been big because he has no timeouts. Just like you said, he would have had to throw the ball down the field. The clock would have been moving. Instead, he's on the 20, first and 10 from there. Done. No timeouts remaining for Spoto, but only a three-point deficit, a defensive battle early in this game. Great block on the right side. Allows him to get out of the pocket. 
And for Spoda, we don't know what that first game was like. We were here of the feature game, but the two games we've seen, offensively, it's been a struggle. It's definitely been a struggle. You know, after seeing him score 49 in his first game, you know, now that after watching this, I'm assuming he scored all his touchdowns on defense because <laughs> his offense has been struggling that bad as, as Dak is just 5 of 10. And, and it's a third and eight. And look for Keynes to call a timeout if he doesn't get this right here. And right there, he took the two-yard pass underneath. Right side had the corner route from the tight end. Wide open. Nobody around him. Instead, forced into a third down. Clock running down under 40 seconds to go. Dak Prescott looking right side, looking to the corner out that time. There were four Bears over there, but it didn't matter. Julio makes the catch, and the hurry-up offense is underway. Yep, hurry up here. Uh, under 30 seconds remaining now. Spoto trying to get in field goal range and tie this game before half. Working quickly. Down under 20 seconds, no timeouts. Rolling right side. He'll hit Julio once again, but Julio doesn't get out of bounds, and he only picks up six. Yep, yep, second and three here. Clock moving. Ten seconds remaining in the half. He's in trips tight end. Going to take a shot at the end zone, I would assume. Four seconds, three seconds for all the marbles. Looking right side, one second. It's a possession catch, but that's going to end up ending the half. Three nothing. Kane's on top. A, a Interesting last sequence there, problem. Yeah, definitely interesting. Um, Spoto trying to get in that field goal range and tie the game before the half. Kane's, you know, trying to get get out of there without giving up any points and going into the half up 3-0. If you're Kane's, you're happy with that. Hasn't played his best. Neither has Spoto, but he uh, Kane's is in the lead and he gets the ball coming out in the second half. And for two guys that aren't playing their best. It, you got to feel good at only being a three-point game, whether you have the lead by three points or you're down three points as we head to the third quarter. Do you feel – I mean, I, I get, it's, a, it's a silly question because somebody clearly has an edge with a three-point lead, yeah. but if you're Spoto, you don't feel like you're out of this game. Yeah, when I say they're not playing their best, I look at it on the offensive side of the ball. It's competitive, competitive man. you got to put up points to win these games. And defensively, they're playing great. Offensively, both players could be better. And a reminder to all you guys out there, you want to catch up with what's going on in our other game, Boogs and JS no, 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 the best. Patrick, That's over on Mixer, mixer.com slash Madden. We got a full half of action oh, no, here, like though. It it's only a like three-point game. Kane oh, starting no, like with the ball like to begin the second half. An opportunity to go up by two scores. Trying to get Derrick Henry involved. He breaks a tackle. He's a big, strong man. Fights through it, gets two yards. Yeah, if you notice, Henry in the backfield, not at tight end, not in the, you know, the slot at this point for Canes. And in this first game, we saw him using him that way. He switched up his game plan in that sense, trying to get Henry more involved in the run game. We had uh, uh, some issues earlier with the players falling asleep in the players' lounge. I believe that our man Rico Williams has a solution. What's going on, Rico? Yeah, Nick, I have a solution. We've had people falling asleep in a little bit of low energy. Well, we handle this the player's lounge way. Miko, hit it. Now you can't fall asleep to this. Whoa. Back to you guys. That sound that Rico made is going to be in my nightmares. Whoa. <laughs> just, Third and 16. Just a whoa from, from them. Third and 16 deep down the field. How about a mistake? Spoto with the pick and some room to run inside the 30 to the 25-yard line. Tart picks him off, and all of a sudden, Spoto with an edge. Yep. Defense, defense, defense. That's all we've seen in this game, and Spoto sets up his offense with a short field. 25 yards to go to give him the lead. Can Spoto punch this ball in, though? I mean, both offenses have struggled so much in this game. Which offense is going to break through in the second half? Look at that pick. He was off his game. You're off your game when you're hungry. Eat a Snickers. I bet you, I bet you Canes is wishing he had that one back. As back to action. 
short field to work with for Spoto. For Spoto, you got to think the key here, make sure you at least get three and tie the game up. Yeah, you definitely can't turn the ball over here. But as you see, the run game just hasn't been there. And he's, he's going to single back now, under center, trying to mix something up, and it, and it worked. Lindsey, his biggest run yet, sets up a third and short, I believe, third and one for Spoto. Lindsey wanted to keep going there. He was out of bounds. He's like, can I just keep running? Can, right. I, can I keep rolling? <laughs> Cuts it to a third and one. Got to love when you see these professional players mix it up with a play you haven't seen yet. Yeah, and look for Spoto to do that more going forward here. Look for him to go under center and, and run that stretch as you see oh. fullback dive blown up. Tony Gonzalez, the Kansas City Chief great, gets stuffed. It's a fourth and three. And speaking of three, Spoto ain't thinking about taking a field goal here. Which is really surprising. I'm just not a fan of the play call. You you haven't scored up until this point. Um he, he definitely has to take his points here. Not doing that could de definitely end up costing him. I, I'm just not a fan of the play. Brilliant if it works out. Your question if it doesn't. Fourth and three from the 17-yard line. Spoto looking for some momentum. Waiting. Has a man in the end zone. Where's the defense? That's Julio Jones. Keep your eyes on him because he picked up six. Wide open, held down in coverage from Canes. Spoto sees it immediately, takes advantage. Touchdown, 7-3 Spoto, third quarter in game three of Group B. Spoto about to sing a rendition of me and Mr. Jones out there as Julio gets involved. And we talked about how big turnovers are. We've seen them be huge in past games. And right there, that turnover turned into seven. Turnover turned into seven, and it was such an aggressive play call from Spoto. Uh, really aggressive there to go for it instead of taking his green and tying the ball game up. And a win and get in situation. What a call from Spoto. Now Canes looking to respond. Play action pass. Otto Graham, the legend. He'll dump this off underneath to Dalvin Cook. Picks up a couple there. Guys out there in the chat, make sure to link your Twitch account to earn Madden Twitch drops throughout the show. You don't want to miss out on that. Great way to fill up your mutt binder with some free cards. If you told Otto Graham that, how would he respond to that? Would he know what a Twitch drop is? <laughs> Here's a laser that's not caught from Dalvin Cook. And again, it just goes back. Again. You know what it goes back to? He's going to say it. So just say it. If you, if you might have missed it earlier. Out of position. Just give me a receiver there. Receiver there, they're going to make that connection. So Tyler Boyd makes some catches that. on the edges. He's a receiver. <laughs> exactly. Third and six. Graham dropping back, stepping up, rolling left side. Jump pass back across his body. That was a receiver. That was a quarterback. It's not a play I think that Otto Graham would be proud to see his likeness making. Uh, bird box reads, what we call them. You know, blindfold. Fourth and six for Canes. Got to put something together here. Draw up something. Got to mix it up. At this point, Spoto has been all over your offense right now. And, and it's showing. It's fourth and six on his own 29. Canes, play action fake. And he's looking for that crosser, not open. Looking for X back across the middle. The trailer, that's D.D. Westbrook picking up a huge first down. That might settle down Canes a little bit to get a big conversion. Yeah, it should. It should. It, it showed him, you know, a route combination that, that works and it was successful. Now Spoto has to be mindful of that, and now Canes can use that to his advantage. First and ten for Canes rolling out right side. Very He's charging down the field. Got hit as he threw. It's Dalvin Cook. Spin move. Hold on to the ball inside the 25 to the 23 yard line. So sometimes that running back out of position hurts you. Right there, Dalvin makes the catch. Yeah, great play. Spins up field after he catches it. And you see um, Crowell back in the game here on the play action fake. Trying to throw a hit on the throw. Second and second coming up on the ground. We talked about how Spoto's defense has played, Kane's defense. This is, I guess, not that surprising. Even though Spoto scored 49 in that first game, ever since then, these these two guys have played some solid defense. Yeah, they have, and it, and the defense has stepped Detroit! up in this game, in a game so big for their their 
their tournament live. Both defenses come into play. Whose offense is going to step up is the question. Second and ten. Waiting in the pocket. Only three-man rush. Now four. It didn't really matter how many they brought us. Floyd was able to get there and down goes Graham. A big third and 14 upcoming. Yep, and decision-making here, you know, is going to be big for Kings. If I'm in the spot, I'm thinking I can get three here because my defense has played so good. And I'm looking for a stop and, and end this game 9-7 eventually. In a game that's a shootout, you kind of got to go for this if you're down four. You know, if this game is 27-23, you got to go for this because, you know, you guys are giving up touchdowns left and right. So if you can't, you don't have to force anything. You can't settle for three here. Stepping up in the pocket, looking left side of the corner oh. route. That's a mistake. It's photo says, give me that big fella. As it's another turnover and another opportunity goes by the wayside. As Spoto comes up with a huge play nearing the end of the third quarter. Trying to force the, the, the crossing route. Again, don't, don't, don't have to do that. You can sit back there. You can scramble, get sacked, anything but turn the ball over. And Prince on the interception. Huge play for Spoto, who takes over up four in the third quarter. Prince of Mukamara with the pick. And now back to the wheels on the bus. They go ground and pound as it's Philip Lindsay right up the middle. Huge first down, clock moving. Again, Spoto's going to look to establish this run game late in this game now with, with Lindsay. He's under center. Trying to maybe catch Canes in a, in, a, in a run commit here. See, he's passing the ball. At the end of the third quarter, dropping back, blitz picked up, then not picked up, rolls out of the pocket, the pressure getting to Spoto. And even though he's been able to force a couple turnovers in this game against Canes, hasn't been able to cash in a ton. It's only a four point lead. Yeah, he tried to get a cheap touchdown there, tried to get Canes to run commit because he was under center in, in a formation that he, he would think that Canes would run commit. Um, and, and Canes makes a great play there, doesn't run commit, stays committed to the pass, and is able to force an incomplete throw away, setting up a second and ten. Second and ten for Spoda. Dropping back. Waiting, looking. How about a curl route left side? Vernon, hold on to the ball, big fella. Looks like a first down at the 35 yard line. Yep, it is, and you know what time it is. Put your fours in the chat. We're headed to the fourth. Game three of Group B, seven to three, Spoto with the ball. Win and you're in. Doesn't get bigger than this on the group stage. Needing a win? Now I want to leave this up to the tiebreaker. Oh. How about Canes? He says my defense is still there. The Cleveland Brown, Emmanuel Ogba gets the sack. Huge play on first down, setting up a second and 20. And now Spoto can't run the ball. He has to pass here. Canes knows that. He's going to be sitting in some good pass coverage here. And that trips tight end look, Julio Jones in the slot. Four man rush from Canes. He'll throw to Julio on the curl. Picks up a chunk of that, but it's only four yards. Third and 16. Only a four-point lead, and again, the run play sort of out of commission. Yeah, run play is out. Has to pass, and that's not what Spoto wants to do. Canes knows every play that he wants to run right now. Look for him to take it away. Spoto going to mix it up and send Davis on a, a, a smart routed hitch route. Never mind. Yeah, he did turn around so wow. far down the field. And he's there. It was a smart route as it picks up the first down. A nice wrinkle thrown in there by the young player. Yeah, definitely. It was like a 20-yard hitch route. And he's able to cash in to Vernon. First and 10 on Kane's 48-yard line. Kane's in trouble. The youngest man in the field looking like a veteran out here. As he's got a full-point lead. He's got the ball. But as we've seen in this group B, as we've seen it throughout the day, you never know what can happen. One play can change the complexity of the game as how about a sack? It looked like it could have been bad, but Cage's defense comes up big. It did. Spoto has a split second more. It's a touchdown. Cain's just fortunate enough to get there and sack the quarterback, set up a second and 23. Spoto with the mistake. 
Can Kane's defense get off the field? We saw him in a second and long on the last set of plays, and Spoda was able to pick it up. Looks left side. He's got Foster. Pick up a six. Very similar. It's, it's, it, I'm having ground dogs day here. Short gain on second down, now third and 17. Yeah, third and forever. Does he go back to that hitch? It worked last time. Kane should be all over at this time. We'll see what Spoto dials up. He's going to go right back to it. Back to it. Vernon Davis on the left side. You can see that route. It's like a smart routed hitch. Run to the sticks. Drop him back. Waiting. Looking. Looking across the field, that's the in route. That's Parker with the catch to the 37-yard line. Two third and longs, two conversions thrown to two different routes. You just cannot give up a third and 14 and a third and 17. When your tournament life is online, you just cannot do it. You have to get off the field there. Your defense has played great on every down besides those third and super longs. You got to get off the field if you're Canes, and he, he's just unable to. Like, Hand off to Phil Lindsay left side, trying to keep this clock rolling. Yeah, I don't like letting him run this down to the two minute warning either. Would rather call a timeout there. Look at that. That's uh that's Spoto's dad. He is pumped watching his son watch the game. That's a proud papa right there. Oh, it's super cool to see. Love that. Love parents coming out and, and supporting their their kids and, and doing something that they love. And of course, you know, there's cash on the line too. Oh, yeah. So, you know, <laughs> that's always nice. Problem is, is, is your kid playing Madden yet? How long till he's picking up the sticks? Not yet, not yet. He's he's just not ready at this point. I, 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 I told my wife, I was like, he has, to, he has to be ready to compete when he picks up those sticks and he's not ready yet. He ain't ready yet, but he might be in a year or two. Could <laughs> yeah. be the new youngest player in the field as <laughs> the run is stuffed up third and seven, clock running down. Kane's got to hold him to three here. Definitely has to hold him. Still has his timeouts in his back pocket. Third and seven coming up. First down would be a backbreaker for Kane's. Cannot give that up. Third and seven looking to throw to pick up the first down. Great user coverage downfield. Comes back to the quarterback, the playmaker. He throws it to Julio who stands at the two yard line. Comes back to the five, another conversion, five yards away from sealing a spot in the next round. Yeah, high level play. It's a, it's a play that breaks down and a play that the casual player just doesn't make. They throw it away, they scramble and, and you know, get tackled short of the first down. They do a couple of those different things. At this level, they, they sit there, extend the play and deliver a strike down the field. Huge play from Sparta. First timeout taken, or excuse me, second timeout taken. Yep. Touchdown Five ends hits. the game pretty much. So Keynes has all the pressure on his defense now. Lindsay right side, Lindsay left side, comes back to the middle. He'll be stopped at the one. And how big is this third and goal with about a half yard to the end zone for a spot in the next round? You got to think if he gets this, he's in. This is for a spot right here. Keynes. Needs to hold on defense, and he's not pinching his line. I just don't like it. QB sneak touch. And oh, it man. is, and oh, that may have just man. sealed it for Spoto. Sneaks into the end zone with Dak Prescott. And let's remember, this was a 3 nothing game. Kane's on top. And Spoto, in the words of LL Cool J, says, don't call it a comeback. <laughs> Spoto played great defense, and it led the offense in this game. 14-3, 119 left, Just looking to run that clock out, seal the game. And if you're Canes now, you got to think he's thinking about the Did other Boogs game. win? Because it's going to come down to so who asked won the other game. Won. Do we have an update in that I, other game? Can we, we get an update yet. in that game? Because if, no if Boogs wins. Still going. It's not over yet. He lost. Okay. He won or lost? <laughs> Canes is asking who won. If Boogs won that over. game. Kings is eliminated. If Boogs lost that game, Kings advances. Boogs is up 10 right now. It's a 19 to 9 score over on Mixer. As soon as we're done with 10? this one, we're going to throw it up there. Boogs okay. up 10 right now. We'll throw it to that. We'll get a little bonus coverage going okay. at the end of this game. But Boogs up 10. So for Kings, it's not looking good. No, it's not. And that means Boogs is going to be 2 and 1. He's advancing. Spoto's 2-1. He's advancing. 
Canes and, and uh, JS would be one and two. Canes would then for therefore be eliminated. Picked and off. Goes a pick in this game. Oh, well. how about that? The defense, which has been so good for Spoto all game long, his dad's got to be so proud. As it looks like Spoto is into the next round, the headphones are off. They're ready to move on. What a pick! What a defensive performance by Spoto today. Yo, Spoto played great. Great defense in that game, and, and he's going to advance two and one. And we're going to see who, who goes with him as far as two and one goes in the other game. And we're also going to see who gets the buy. That's a big deal. If Boogs wins, Boogs gets the buy because he has a tiebreaker over Spoto. So.